Hi everyone, I'm Uncle Karen. Welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you guys seem to like my cognitive science videos. So here I am riding that high and giving you guys another cognitive science video. I promise that my channel is not entirely cognitive science specific, but given that I do want to give you guys useful and informational content, I thought that making these cognitive science videos sort of align with the theme of my channel. If you guys want a more thorough explanation of what cognitive science is, I have a video up here and I'll link it for you guys. If you guys want to have an understanding of what type of classes that you'll take as a cognitive science major, I also made a video about all the classes that I took when I was studying this at UC Berkeley. And so this video, I'm going to be focusing on the top 10 reasons why you should major in cognitive science. Just a disclaimer that a lot of the information that I will say in this video depends largely on my experience and what I've learned learned when I was in school and obviously schools differ across the board it's different programs different professors and stuff like that so just wanted to make sure that you guys take a note of that <laughs> okay and so without further ado let's get started so the first reason why you should major in cognitive science is because it offers a whole lot of diverse job opportunities when you graduate from college in cognitive science you learn a lot about computer science and so you can definitely be something like a software engineer if you major in this we also have a good portion of our curriculum focused on neurobio so it's definitely also a pre-med track if you want to go that route or you can also go into bio research or any neuropsych cog sci research we also have a great deal of classes focus on sociology which means you can be a social worker or a teacher even if you wanted to and then that's not even to mention all the different combinations that you can have so for example if you combine psychology and computer science you get to tap into the UI UX side of technology which is user interface slash user experience I personally know a lot of people who graduated with a cognitive science degree and are now UI UX designers at major tech companies around the globe so I definitely think that a lot of of the classes that you learn as a cognitive science major will definitely equip you with the skills and knowledge that you need to go into a variety of different job experiences after grad. And the second reason why I think you should major in cognitive science is because the classes are a lot less competitive. And that's pretty awesome, I think, considering that you'll still be considered for a lot of competitive jobs out of college. So for example, with the software engineering job, usually those are sort of the more coveted type of jobs but if you're not into being in a class that's like 2,000 students even if you for example want to go into business and you're not really into being in a class filled with a lot of business students which have a bad rap for being snakes then cognitive science is definitely a good alternative also I realized that a lot of the people in my classes tend to be more chill every single one of my classes in cognitive science was never curved meaning that how other people perform in the class does not impact your grade in the class whatsoever. I'm comparing it to my computer science classes where like I said before it was like 2,000 students and I feel like a lot of people are always on the grind because coding and programming and those types of classes tend to be a lot more demanding. Cognitive science classes are definitely a lot chiller and a lot less competitive so it's definitely less pressurizing in my opinion. The third reason why you should major in cognitive science is because the classes are easily applicable to the real world. You know that feeling when you're in school and you're like reading a textbook or something and then you're just like, why do I ever need to know this? I feel like I've experienced less of those moments when I was studying cognitive science because 90% of the concept that you learn is about humans and explaining why humans behave the way they do. And so I found that you really see the concepts that you learn about in textbooks in the real world. So for example, in my class called Psychology of Sleep, we really learned about the benefits of sleep and how that impacts your neurological health. And so that kind of encouraged me to sleep earlier and not pull all-nighters in college. I'm totally just saying that to mask the fact that I'm a grandma anyway and I can't function without less than eight hours of sleep. <laughs> and in my class Social Psychology, we learned about you know, behavior in frats and sororities or how to influence people and the optimal conditions to influence people. So that's very useful. Even in my introduction class called Cogsci 1, that is the introduction to cognitive science class. So it's literally the bare, bare bones of what Cogsci is. We learned about how memory works and what is the optimal environment to retain the concepts that you learn in lectures. So it's definitely super real world applicable. And it's not just one of those classes where you're gonna just forget all of the skills once you graduate. 
My fourth reason is that cognitive science actually has a lot of easier classes because it relies on memorization. Actually, this could be a downside. It depends on how you study, but me personally, I definitely find things like science a lot easier because you learn about the way things work and then you memorize them and then you basically get tested on what you remember. I like these classes a lot more than just application-based things, so things like math and computer science, because I feel like math and computer science, they definitely teach you a lot more of the foundations and then they want to test how those things that you learn can be applied in other situations. So I definitely enjoyed this aspect a lot more, but of course that just depends on you and the best way that you learn. <laughs> My fifth reason is that cognitive science is not boring meaning that because you're taking a lot of different classes from a lot of different departments each class is sort of structured a little differently so for example for your cs classes you're going to be coding things and you're going to be building things so those classes definitely differ than other classes like psychology where you have to really read and analyze research papers and i feel like those psychology classes are a lot more different than classes like linguistics where you have to do more hands-on practice every single week so just naming from those three fields computer science psychology and linguistics all of those already have such different ways of studying so i definitely feel like you are equipped with a lot of different learning styles and you're just you're just never bored you know you never just sit down and do readings for three or four of your classes straight each of your classes will have different work and assignments and so i feel like that makes the whole program a lot more interesting my sixth reason is that it's not hard to finish your program early so as for me personally i actually graduated early from berkeley with a cognitive science degree i graduated in three years and i think the reason for this is because a lot of the classes in cognitive science are not as demanding and so it's kind of easier to study back up a lot of classes in one semester and get all of your units done. But if you don't want to graduate early, then that also means that you have plenty of time to major in something else, to get a minor, to get a certificate, or to study abroad. Caveat to this is probably that because cognitive science classes are so interdisciplinary, you do get classes from a lot of different departments, which often give priority to those students first. So what I mean is that a lot of cognitive science classes in Berkeley come from the psychology department and psychology departments typically give priority to psychology students and because psychology classes are pretty popular already, it definitely requires a lot of meticulous schedule planning if you do want to end up graduating early because you need to account for some backup classes in case that you don't get the one that you want. My seventh reason is that you have a freer schedule. So for my cognitive science classes, usually we would only have lecture on Tuesday and Thursday and I would have a discussion on Monday or Wednesday. And that is such a blessing compared to other classes where you have lectures every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then you have another discussion in between those days. There's definitely been several semesters at UC Berkeley where I literally had no classes on Friday. And even if I did have a class on Friday, I would be able to manipulate my schedule enough that my classes on Friday would end pretty early and so I would just get a head start on my weekend which is super awesome so yeah it's just always nice you know when you have a three-day weekend every single weekend for your entire semester that's like a pretty good pro in my opinion my eighth reason is that cognitive science broadens your understanding of the world cognitive science is a science so you do analyze discrete scientific facts about the way things work around you I definitely had a greater appreciation for science and all the research that's been done in order to sort of decode what happens in our brains and drives us to do the things that we do. So if you're a curious individual, you're definitely going to enjoy this major. If you're ever, you know, sitting down 2 a.m. in your room just wondering how babies acquire language, how we learn, then this is definitely the major for you because you're going to learn a lot. My ninth reason is that you develop a greater sense of empathy. So like I said before, our classes are essentially about humans and the way that we behave. And so I found that if you understand why humans behave the way that they do, the more likely you are to accept them. The classes that was completely mind-blowing and I feel like changed my life are my classes called Developmental Psychopathology and 
social psychology, which I mentioned before, developmental psychopathology, which essentially studies when our brains don't function the way that they're supposed to. And so we study a lot about mental illnesses and the roots of that from childhood and the roles that our environment and our genetics play in our neurophysiological functioning, basically. And then for my class, social psychology, at the end of the semester, we talked a lot about prejudice and racism and the ways that we can combat that when we encounter it in the real world. And so I feel like these classes definitely helped me grow as a person and helped me understand that, you know, some people just don't think the way that you do and you shouldn't expect them to. And my last reason is that it's a super relevant major, especially today in the 21st century. Technology is super advanced and we have smart things nowadays like smartphones, smart homes, because these technologies are sort of positioned in a way to improve human lives. And the only way to improve human lives is to understand the way humans live or just to understand the way humans work and that's essentially what cognitive science is. I feel like given the rate at how fast this world is transforming, it's pretty important to look to the future and so I definitely feel that cognitive science is one of those fields that will not become obsolete anytime soon. Okay and so that's it. Those are the 10 reasons why I think that you should major in cognitive science. If you're not convinced yet or if you have any more questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I'll make sure to get to them and if you have any other suggestions for me, like other cognitive science things that you want to hear about or if you're into more career related things or more general college advice also leave them down in the comments below i'll definitely make a video for it if you guys think that it'll be helpful that being said thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye